The time has come! The time has come. The time has come. We made it! The time has come. Con Expo 2023. It's here. Um, large and in charge, and it is overwhelming the amount of information that we have uh, to go with, but couldn't be any more excited. We got kids dropped off. We got Monday morning meeting out of the way. Our bags Work. are packed. Thank you. Yeah. Um, kids' bags are packed. Thank you. House is clean. Thank you. I did a bunch of other stuff. We are heading out on a late night flight to Dallas. We'll get into Dallas um, about 6.45 local time. The cool thing about this flight is, is that we land in Vegas at night and it, as from what I know from Google Earth shots, the strip, our hotel, airport, the whole convention is all right there. So we should be able to get essentially some really nice footage of us landing in Vegas tonight. And then pretty much the entire trip is not only dedicated to us and the company figuring out what the market's gonna do, but it's dedicated to you guys and I hope you guys really enjoy what we're fixing to bring you. So stay tuned, hit that like, like. subscribe, hit that bell. We'll see Here you. we go! to Vegas we made it to Vegas <laughs> we made it in super late last night super late I want to say we landed 1145 not only that our bodies were on central time we're in I think this is Mountain West time we're talking about two hours difference here so yeah it was a little bit a little bit of an adjustment for us to make this morning um let's go we are going to be heading to let me get my phone out here we are heading to <gasps> uh, uh, gonna make one or two collective videos throughout the entire process of what we've been doing and how we've been doing it so today we're going to be handing out in the west hall we're going to be hitting case um kubota john deere forestry bobcat Personal favorite Komatsu. Um, we're gonna be hitting that and Top Con and some other stuff. And your nose is running this morning. Yeah, I know. It's the weather. Um, mm -hmm. Short. And then so, tomorrow, what it's looking like is we've got we're gonna be hitting Mack trucks, International trucks, Ford, and, and hitting the trucks in there, which I know quite a few of you guys like. And we're we all also have no idea what we're doing, <laughs> and so we're planning, but that is all just kind of um, by the wayside, yeah, up in the air until we get there and kind of get a feel for what the heck is going on and how much we can cover in a day. So, we are not going to the West all this morning, no, we're going to the festival grounds, we're going to the festival grounds this morning. Where, let me list these off again. We're gonna look at the Sandy Tent, Lay Bear, which they made it on, on this. I thought that was kind of fancy. Caterpillar, Volvo, Hitachi, and Ancon, a couple other smaller guys, but those are your main, main big ones. And then tomorrow, we will be going to the West Hall and the South Hall and splitting our time there. We may end up, honestly, we don't know what we're doing yet. So 
depending on how fast we get through these areas, if we're saying, you know, an hour per one, two, three, and a half, maybe four hours there, I'd say by lunchtime, we're out of the festival grounds and heading to probably the West Hall. I don't know if you guys can see how, how big this place is, but it is unbelievably Massive. ginormous trying to figure out where I think, you know, you guys will want to see the most of. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are fixing to walk out the door to go do to this. Vegas! I can't believe we're here. I can't either, honestly. <laughs> Yesterday was long. Yesterday so was... So long. <laughs> One of those trying testing days. One thing I didn't know about Vegas is that it's got mountains around it. Look at that one. It's the desert. I know, but the mountains... Anyways. Stay tuned! <laughs> we are, uh... Gonna go do this thing. Come along, enjoy. Let us know what you think. in a new Hitachi here. See what a cab looks like. Very cat-like. Very cat-like. Oh my god. Looks just like a 308 panel. Turn knob there. I do like that big blade compared to my 308 though. Yeah, 
very cat-like. Very, 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 very cat-like. Put the panel down here. We've got an indicate machine. I'm gonna assume that's like uh, being a John Deere product. Couldn't tell you. Ooh, Hitachi solution linkage. That's pretty legit, but yeah. This right here is for tunneling. God bless it. <laughs> Very cat like again, and this is in the 350 model, Hitachi. 350LC-7, very, again, very cat-like. Now for some big boy toys. Let's do it. God bless it. Taking a look in an 850, very cat style next gen. I don't know what else to call it, guys. And here it is sitting from the operator's seat. Looking down, looking out. God dang, that's a big old bucket. Shoo! Dig some ditch with an 850. <laughs> You're right. Looking at something more like a 490. Exactly, like so a 480, 490, something like that. Yep, so you're gonna see the same type of cab. Uh, you'll see the same type of hydraulics. It's our highest bore system, okay. uh, which is pretty exciting because it really maximizes efficiency and uh, responsiveness. Beautiful. Sorry, guys. So here's another hot tachi wheel loader, and this one is a 220, 220, which would be comparable to our 200 that you guys have seen. Let's go check out the cab. Here is a wheel loader clap, cab. Clab. I can tell you what, guys, I'm going to be extremely tired after today. But looks pretty similar to just about everybody else's wheel loader. And here is operator view.
say, Mom? Calvin, we found your service truck. <laughs> underground conditions so we've got roughly over 30 percent travel on those on those rear axles 30%. man 30 percent is a lot man uh now i did a little tour earlier and by the way we encourage you guys to do that as well you can feel free to go around check out the vehicles ask the hard question it provides a massive amount of longevity we're talking about handling those maximum loads it, it's able to handle all the shearing lay bare shearing stresses out. Uh, this is actually a ramp that we're going to Guys, don't worry, he's not going to launch off and jump over your heads or anything like that. Um, but what we're trying to show here is we actually have the ability to easily uh, get up like, either ramps or inclines of, of, of over 42% grade. Uh, right. So we have the ability with this. Oh, Ukraine guys. I would love to watch the logistics of getting everything. Okay. This looks like to be a, a 250 with an extra boom there. Did you see that, Ben? It's got an extra knuckle to it. Yeah. Garbage, scrap metal, got that cab way up in the air. Boco 260. So you guys a little bit over a 210. Very similar from what we've been seeing. Oops. From the operator's view. Pretty Cabelco ish, if I say so myself. Is that not? Well, that's a good question. So we have a Komatsu 138 just like this. Okay. Um, but we do not have a this crazy looking knuckle boom. So essentially, You've got a fixed boom, right? But then it, you can go 90, but then you can get out here and go even a, let's, tell it's, us a little it's, about it. It's not quite 90, but yeah. So the idea of a knuckle boom is being able to dig down the tracks, as you can kind of see how it's set up right now, right down that left track line. Love so it. So if you're working getting kind of sewer lines, any kind yep. of utility work where you have to be up close to a building, yep. up close to a roadway, a jersey barrier, 
you're able to position that booming arm without turning the whole machine and getting some in Love some it. situations like that. Love it, brother. That's what I know. That knuckle boom design is just wicked. I just don't know the sustainability of that. That's my only question. With a wheel compactor on there for packing base. Another one of these all in one thumb in the bucket. So this is Cabalco's 270. Very much so. Very cat. Very cat. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, guys. Honestly. They call it your Sandy wheel loader. So this is a Sandy SW405K. Let's go check it out inside. Didn't even know Sandy was competing in the wheel loader market, man. Learning so much here at Con Expo. You got away. Pretty standard cab. Very standard cab, but man. Hey. Hey, boys and girls. What we see there. They didn't forget that absolute most valuable part. Is that what I think it is? Very standard machine. You guys have seen our Sandy Girl, but here's a 215LC. Man, our Sandy's done good to us. As long as they got a, still got that Kawasaki hydraulics in it, it'd be just fine. Let's look into the cab. Definitely upgraded since my model, for sure. That wasn't. Still got the same radio in there though, and the same AC controls, come on. Here's your other controls. And here's your operator view, guys. They have my name here. They knew I was coming. Check this out, guys. Sandy and everybody in their dog is chasing. All electric. It's coming, guys. Good looking machine, though. Sandy, I think it's an SY385C. Man, I gotta say. Ooh, I know a bunch of you guys are gonna want to look in this Mini X right here. I know a bunch of you boys that are gonna want to look at this. This is a Sandy SY50, and this machine can be bought pretty daggone cheap, boys. If you're looking for a new machine, this machine—I'm telling you, my one, my 140 has done me great. Very good-looking redesign here. They've shoved the seat. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they have shoved the seat all the way back compared to use. Uh, other machines in industry, I should say. Very good looking cab, too. Look at that freaking handle, though. Oh, there's buttons under there, guys. I don't know about all that number. Oh, looky. There's scroll wheels and buttons and, hmm. That is very unique. All right, guys, Sandy 700, 750, I should say. Yeah, let's to look up in the cab. Jesus. Very cat like guys. Very cat like. Man, very roomy. Look at that bucket though, compared to Sarah. <laughs> it's awesome. Good, nice walk rail. Look here. The new 140 cat. Pro grader. 
Now that is precision.